I'm currently on a bus in the city of Nakuru and I'm heading towards Kisumu. Kisumu is the third largest city in the Republic of Kenya. It's a beautiful lakeside city and it's around 185 kilometers from Nakuru city. Let's explore together and enjoy this amazing adventure as we explore the beautiful lakeside city of Kisumu. Ayaye, Tera Adbia Kisumu. Ayaye, Tera Adbia Kisumu. Kisumu Ber, Kisumu Ber. Tera Adbia Kisumu. Kisumu Ber, Kisumu Ber. Kisumu Ber, Pajo. Kisumu Ber, Kisumu Ber. Kisumu Ber, Pajo. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wimba Imani, and today I'm joining you live from the lakeside city of Kisumu the third largest city in the Republic of Kenya, and it's also the third largest lakeside city after Kampala and Mwanza in Tanzania. I'm very excited to be here. In fact, I'm super excited to be here. Kisumu is one of my, one of my favorite cities in the world, so we'll be exploring this amazing and beautiful lakeside city. So, if you're new to the channel, do consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for your custom. Welcome to Kisumu! Karibuni sana Kisumu! Ah, yeah, Santo Ibuana. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to begin my walk just opposite the West End Mall here in Kisumu City, and we'll be just exploring the city together, guys. You'll get insight into the history of the city and many more so do enjoy today's episode and let's enjoy the walk together Tupopamoja, which means we are together in the beautiful language of Swahili Kisumu city is the third largest city in Kenya after the capital city of Nairobi and the coastal city of Mombasa culturally Kisumu serves as the headquarters of the Luo speaking people of East Africa However, it is important to bear in mind there are many other communities and groups that live in Kisumu and call this place home. Some of the most significant political events that have shaped Kenya have happened in Kisumu, including the famous political debate between the founding president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, and the founded vice president, Jaramogi Odinga, during the opening of the Jaramogi Odinga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital in 1969. Kisumu City is believed to be one of the oldest settlements in Kenya. Historical records indicate that Kisumu has been dominated by diverse communities at different times, long before the Europeans arrived. The people of the Nandi, Kalenjin, Kisi, Maasai, Luo, and Luya communities converge at the tip of the Lake Victoria and call the place Sumo, which literally means a place of barter or trade. Kisumu is the second most important city after Kampala in the Greater Lake Victoria Basin, although Mwanza in Tanzania has overtaken it in population size. According to the United Nations, it is recognized as a key city and a millennium city, the first of its kind in the world and also in East Africa. 
It is officially known as Kisumu City and formerly as Port Florence. Kisumu was founded in 1901 as the main inland terminal of the Uganda Railway, named Port Florence. Although trade stagnated in the 1980s and the 1990s, it is again growing around oil exports. Okay guys, so we're, today we are in Kisumu city and you can see a lot of developments have happened here. It's the third largest city of course like I've mentioned in the Republic of Kenya and it's definitely very modern. It has some lovely buildings, a lot of amenities, a lot of shops here in Kisumu and it's a lakeside city which makes it even lovely you get the cool breeze when it gets too hot and they have some of the best fish in kenya when you think about kisumu people always think if you come to kisumu you have to try the amazing tilapia fish with ugali and sukuma wiki which is a type of kale or spinach so it's really lovely guys currently i'm here on the jomo kenyatta highway and I'm going to take a left and walk down the Odinga, Odinga Street. Okay, so we are going to explore this amazing city. And of course, if you, if you know the history of Kenya, Odinga, Odinga was actually one of the vice president during the time of Jomo Kenyatta. And he was a chief as well, lower chief in this region. Very popular. He also has influential uh, children as well who are today are great leaders here in Kenya for example Raila Odinga is his, one of his sons so we're exploring this amazing city together guys so let's take a walk down Odinga Street and see some of the developments that's happening I really like this roundabout if you look there's like a water fountain in the middle very beautiful and it's right next to the bank as well and what I like about this city is there's banks all over the place where you can get ATM. So if you have, you know, your international card, you can withdraw cash from the ATM and different things like that. So that's really convenient when you're traveling to a city. Now in Kisumu, it's of course the capital of uh, Kisumu County. And here you will find a large population of Luo. Okay, Luo is one of the tribes here in Kenya. And you'll also hear the low language being spoken here you'll hear words like oya ore osa ore good morning good evening edinadi how are you these are some of the phrases you'll hear when you travel throughout uh, kisumu but apart from the luo community you have people from different parts of kenya that live here okay you have people from other parts kisi you have uh, luya people you have people from other parts of uh, Kenya uh, Kenya and also you have an uh, Indian population here as well some of them was even born here you'll even find Hindu temples here some of them have businesses in the area so this is Kisumu okay so Leos Leos sasa hivi niko hapa pamoja rafiki yangu habari yako bwana nzuri sana unaitwa nani Oh, Patrick, uh, ni, ni nafurai sana ku, kukuona leo. Yeah, ah, so Kisumu koko vipu siku hizi? Ah, kusumu, kisumu kwetu tuko vizuri, tuko salama sana. Hata mji yetu saizi imependezo na watu wengi. Eh. Yeah. Eh, kisumu ni mzuri ya mekaribisha wageni wote wakuja wadu kisumu. Eh. Yeah. Saizi kisumu nisiyo kama zamani. Ah, okay, Asante. So, una, 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 una penda sana kukuishi Kisumu? Sana, sana. Tunakaribisha wageni wale tukuja tuishi Kisumu. Sa hii Kisumu, ni inji nini tena mzuri kabisa. Okay, Asante sana. Tafadhali kusema karibu ni sana Kisumu. Karibu sana Kisumu. Ah, ya, Asante buwana. Asante sana.
So on this street you'll find many supermarkets and other businesses, phone shops, restaurants. So I really like it when I come here that you get to see some of these things. Especially if you're new to the town, it's good to know you have a convenient place where you can go and find everything and you don't have to look around too much. So yeah, this is the beautiful lakeside city of Kisumu. So the time now it's 11 a.m. and it's very hot today, it's around 29 degrees Celsius here in Kisumu. And Kisumu has a reputation for being a very hot region. Kisumu ni joto sana, as they say in Kiswahili. Kisumu is very hot and it's kind of like Mombasa. Mombasa is the coastal region in Kenya and it's another area which is known to be to have very hot weather there. So in comparison to the last city where we've been, which was Nakuru, what I would say Kisumu is definitely much more wider. Kisumu seems much more developed in terms of infrastructure and even the roads and it's less dusty in comparison to Nakuru. Nakuru can be quite dusty sometimes in some areas, but in Kisumu, I haven't experienced that as yet. And I do value the fact that um, you have a lake very nearby as well, which you can, as I'm walking, I'm actually feeling the lovely breeze that's coming from the lake area, which you're going to see today. So that's really nice. So far, the people in Kisumu have been very welcoming, find them very friendly. Even when you go to the hotel area, you walk around, you greet, you know, people are willing to greet you. Like you just saw that interview I did with a gentleman there. They literally just was willing to talk with me. Karibu sana, Kisumu. So that's really nice. It's a, it's a, a, friendly, well, a friendly city. Of course, you have your good and bad everywhere, but my experience so far has been great. I really love this city, man. It's just a real nice vibe here, especially with the sun out. Really lovely infrastructure in terms of the roads here. It's tarmac really well. Lovely sidewalks and pavements here. I'm really enjoying the vibe here in Kisumu, guys. In the Luo lands. Yeah, it's amazing. So right now we're going to take a ride on this street here and it's Ang, Ang Awa Avenue. This is Ang Awa Avenue and let's see what's happening. I believe there's a, a market. This is a static bank by the way, but there's a market not too far away from here. And, and one thing I'm noticing, the roads in Kisumu, if you look at this guy, I'm not sure if the, the camera is doing it justice but the roads in Kisumu is very wide like literally so much room you know and that's one thing you'll notice
Ninatambea tu. Sawa. Ninatambea tu bwana. So these are the local dollar dollars that you're seeing. Not dollar dollars, that's Tanzania in in Kenya they say matatus. And um, they go to different parts of the areas here in Kisumu. Well done to the leadership in Kisumu, the governor and different people that's really planting trees throughout the city, which is really eco-friendly. And um, it adds extra beauty to the city. As you can see, more trees have been planted here. The last time I was here, I didn't see trees. So this is something I really like, what they're doing. And the roads are very clean in Kisumu, very clean. So that's another thumbs up here. It's, it, it's, it's very welcoming and it gives people the impetus to want to stay and visit the city more often. In the distance there, you can see those high-rise buildings. That's the mega plaza. That's a shopping mall. Kisumu got quite a few shopping malls, actually. And hopefully, we're going to explore some of them today. This here is the fire station. Fire station still got that kind of... Um, colonial look I'll say must have been built a long time ago during the colonial administration here in the Republic of Kenya and there's also a park where you can come and relax as well in Kisumu as well guys which is really nice especially on a hot day or in the evening time, you just want to chill out, relax. There's a park where you can come to as well. So that's really nice. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of Kisumu so far, guys. Ay ay ay, tera adhe kusumu, kisumu ber, kisumu ber, kisumu ber pacho. Whoa, I'm loving it, guys. So, in my my opinion, Kisumu is kind of divided into two sections. You will have the much more ultra modern and developed side, and then you'll have the more well, what should I say, traditional feel where you'll find a lot of more smaller businesses and you'll even find some people that um, sell on the sidewalk like we're seeing here. But on the other side where we were walking previously, you'll see, you'll see that less. So this is one of the things you'll notice in Kisumu. This is a local supermarket here, to the left.
National Oil. This is a gas station or petrol station here in Kisumu. There's quite a few of them around. Different um, companies have um, their own petrol station in the, in the city. Right now I'm on a popular mode of transport. This is the bicycle taxi, not motorbike, but bicycle. Very popular mode of transport. I'm going to the United Mall, so we'll check out a mall here in Kisumu, a popular shopping mall. Kisumu got, got quite a few malls. And yeah, I decided to really do it local style on the bicycle taxi. This is my rider here, and he's taking me. And the cost for this journey is 30 Kenyan shillings or they say in Kenya 30 bob okay so I'll put the conversion right up on the screen so yeah it's a nice vibe you know sometimes you just enjoy the beautiful vibe on a motorcycle taxi let's see the view in front of us So we literally was just walking down the street here and they have been very instrumental in ensuring that they have a lot of different shopping outlets for the people because of course this is the third largest city in Kenya. So you need to, and people are shopping, a lot of people are shopping. So these things are important. We're gonna be coming up to an area where you'll find a lot of the local businesses here in Kisumu, a lot of local and small businesses. This is for what some of the shops will look like in those businesses here. These are the more smaller businesses in comparison to the previous section where we were. So in this side, in comparison to the other side, this truck's in a way, but you'll see people selling clothes and different things like that over there. And a lot of them are on the sidewalks doing business. You'll find a lot of that in this section of town in comparison to the other section where we were. So there's two sides to the city, but nevertheless, I will say it's still clean in terms of I haven't seen much rubbish or garbage around like that, but it's a little bit more dusty in comparison to the other section. Very interesting that, you know, on a highway, I'm on a highway, but you can still get a uh, motorcycle, not motor, a, a bicycle taxi, bicycle taxi on the highway as well. So everyone's welcome on the highway. You just need to be careful. For someone for the first time, this can be a bit nerve wracking, but we get on. I did mention that Kisumu also has a sizable Indian population and you can see over there that's the Sikh Union Club and there are also Hindu temples and 
that dotted around the city. So to my right, we're coming up to United Mall, one of the popular upscale mall here in Kisumu. So we'll be checking it out together, guys. There are also the Lake Basin Mall, Mega City Mall. Kisumu got quite a few malls, actually. And there's even a cinema and all of that. So if you really want to experience that kind of life when you visit Kisumu City, that is also here as well. Oh, there's a, there's a Maasai in the city also. One thing, Maasai, you will find them all over Kenya and all over Tanzania. So right behind me is literally the United Mall where I just came from after we got off the bike ride, bicycle ride. And there's a little issue in terms of filming there and I do understand, I guess, for security reasons and stuff like that. So I do need to seek permission from the management. Fortunately, no one was in the office when I arrived there. So I guess next time I'll be able to get footage in there. But I did manage to get myself a nice juice. Juicy Aembe. That's mango juice. Okay, and it cost me around 200 Kenyan shillings. Really good and natural. The name of the shop is Bay Na Fruits, Na Fru. And it's an organic shop in here in the United Mall. And you will get a lot of fruits, vegetables. A lot of that can be found here. So that's really great. And I, I appreciate the fact that they're embracing the importance of promoting their natural fruits and vegetables, which is grown throughout the region and other parts of the Republic of Kenya. So that's really good. The mango juice is absolutely natural and it tastes really great, really sweet and nice. So definitely if you visit the uh, Kisumu, check out the United Mall, you won't be disappointed.